here we have the Broom 37, uh, currently on the books here at the Brundle office. It's a 1990 boat, powered by twin Ford Sabre 225 horsepower diesels through shafts. Now I think it's safe to say this Broom 37 is probably one of the best spec and arguably one of the best presented in, in the UK. It's a, a, a real good boat this. We've known this particular boat for, for several years, uh, the previous owners and sold, them, sold it to the current owners as well. Um, and it's always benefited from, from extensive upgrades and always had money spent on it, improving it. Um, it's a yeah, real good boat, this one. If you just have a look around the stern, you can see stainless davits there, paving platform, transom access through the boarding ladder. Shore power cable plugged in. Very well kept on the uh, outside, on the exterior. Canopy's in good order, gel coat's all in good order. So we sold it to the current owners, he's put it just over two years ago. And kept here in Brundle since. Boarding ladder there, nice wide decks, full guard rails all the way around, stainless steel. See the hole. Got the folding screens, uh, folding arch, dropping the air draft down, versatile boat. Cavernous boats, the 37. It's only pack a lot in here. We see that when we head inside and through that spec that I mentioned as well. I think that's what we'll do. We will uh, head up into the cockpit. So just heading on into the upper wheelhouse. You can see the upholstery's been done up here. Nice grey upholstery all as it should be. See that stainless radar arch looks very nice as well. Large helm seat there. I mean, probably three or four people on there to be honest, and it does reverse as well. Um, so opening this up, large deck space up here. Comfortably get family and friends aboard. Just pan round, see what's going on. See the uh, well equipped helm there. We'll have a bit more look in detail at that in a moment. Non slip decks. Just very nice as well. See that out there. Got bow and stern thruster on here, added by the previous owners. Up um, to date, Rain Marine equipment. Great vantage point up here. Map table there. There's that stock bow and stern thruster. I mean, maneuverability of this is fantastic. Twin shafts bow and stern, um, can't really go wrong with that. Really easy boat to control for its size. Just pan around again. Really do like that arch, that's really quite neat. No expense spared on here really. I, mean, I wouldn't want to uh, pick up the bill for the bow and stern thruster and update the navigation equipment. The upholstery, much more we'll see as you go downstairs. We will uh, head on down below and uh, have a look. Looking down into the main saloon area, you can see again that nice grey upholstery has all been done. Carpets updated, again grey, very contemporary in here. Blinds all round with the uh, fly screens as well. You can see on this side. I'll just pull that fly screen up. Oh. You can see there. Is it magnetic clips together on the front as well. Previous owner also updated the Wabasto warm air heating system. Um, Galley's been refitted as well, you'll see that shortly. Woodwork's all in A1 condition. 
presents very well, this boat. Uh, always been a big fan of this particular 37. Last time it was sold as well. Look down that port side, got ample stories down there, and again, woodwork's all good. LED lighting, there is um, low level LED lighting in the aft cabin as well. Just pan around again so you can see what's going on. Ourselves. Nice spiral staircase, really like that on these 37s, just really classy and elegant there. So coming forward, good sized dinette, again all very nice, modern upholstery, woodwork again, tip top condition, well kept. Galley's been refitted by the previous owner. As you can see there, even incorporated a washing machine as well. There's an endless upgrade on here. We've got generator, see the control just for that over there. Isotherm fridge was new when the current owners brought it. Again, back 2018 from memory. You can see that woodwork again, all as it should be. Really smart job of refitting the galley out. Again, that's the previous owner. Just saying, trying to think what the bills were on all this updating, but really, no corners cut. It's it, it, it's been done to a very high standard. All the upgrades. See the design out there. Good size. Just have another look around the saloon from a different angle. Headlining's all good as well. Just carry on forward into the cabin in the bow. So we've got a very good sized V berth in here. Very comfortable size. And again, I know I keep saying it, but um, all in very good order. Woodwork's all good, upholstery's all very good. See that woodwork there. Very good size cabin this. Nice guest cabin. And the uh, forward heads you can see here. Electric flush toilets. Shower, wet room style. Oh, wow. I'll just head back through the saloon, show you a bit more of what's going on in here. Very comfortable size, I mean the space is just unbelievable. There's that U-shaped saloon seating. And then Glorious aft cabin. As I mentioned, you can see that under light, under um, low level lighting under the bed on there. Good size island double. And again, as per the rest of the boat, I, I'm sure you can see it for yourselves in the video, but immaculately kept. I think you can uh, see from the video my claims from earlier on that it's one of the finest examples I've been aboard. Just have a look in here. Separate toilet shower in the aft cabin again, electric flush toilet. Got another heated towel rail in there. 
left on the other side. Uh, shower cubicle probably a little bit dark in here. There we are, blind open. Nice, good size uh, separate shower cubicle. Separate WD, w, separate WC and showers, a nice touch on these rooms. Just pan around again in here, show you that aft cabin. I love these underfloor lighting, that's really, really cool touch. Really sets it off. I'll just head back to the saloon and have another pan around in there from a different angle lift them blinds down so you can see see those and then up on the port side and that is the room 37 uh, currently available to, to view in Brundle uh, specification photographs all the link below if you'd uh, like to have a look around then then by all means give us a shout and uh, we will uh, book you in for an appointment.